I auditioned for FNC's Pickup Stage Audition. It's otherwise known as their monthly audition. Let's get into my experience part of it. Am I gonna have to talk over that siren? Anyway, I decided to actually go with dance this time around because I wanted to do some freestyling and this one was exactly that. It said it was just a freestyle dance and they'll give you a song randomly. I thought that was very exciting and I've been doing vocal all this time so I thought it would be nice to mix it up. Basically, we're not allowed to film in the audition. It's never allowed. However, there is going to be a recording at the end of me dancing at the audition. The audition started at 12 and we arrived at the building at 11.10. So we were super, super early. There was no one around and the building didn't have any signs on it, nothing that said FNC on the outside. So we just kind of walked and lost and hopefully uh, hope that that was the right place. I mean, Kakao Map or Kakao Map was showing that this was the right place but it just didn't look right I suppose. After a couple of minutes another girl came in and I honestly thought she was the staff. She was confidently going upstairs because we were just kind of sitting on the first floor on the floor um, but she confidently went up and then she went back down so I was like huh is she an audition applicant? So I made conversation with her and she was actually a 2004 liner who was auditioning for the acting category because she thought she was too old to be a K-pop idol. She said it would be great if I am or if I pass and become a K-pop idol but she thought Thought it was she thought she was too old which is not necessarily true like if they're auditioned that goes until 2004 that means they're actively looking for applicants after a couple minutes another girl came in and she kind of shoved her phone in our faces like my sister and i and i was like oh my god what is going on and it was just like a google translate page of is this the audition and we were like yeah and then we kind of all talked around and turns out she was 17. at 11 25 a staff um came I guess from upstairs and started to put these posters around the place and basically to translate this is what it says and after she was done putting up the posters we actually were guided to go upstairs when we walked up there was this fnc logo that i took very secretly you guys don't know the steps i go to take secret videos just for you guys anyway we were just kind of on the stairs waiting because it wasn't 12 yet and at 11:43, there were around eight people waiting some people were waiting with their parents as well and by 11:53, there were a little less than 50 15 people and i'm actually not 100 percent sure how many this was simply because it was the stairs and it looped around so I couldn't really see the people at the end of the line. At exactly 12, we entered the actual fourth floor and not just like the stairs I suppose and that's where the actual FNC logo was and we went into this big practice room with mirrors and we were given our little number stickers and we were encouraged to sit down in lines of five, rows of five sorry and it was just on the floor. So when everyone was kind of seated down, there was a staff at the table and she called our numbers to go up and fill in this form. So this form was kind of like the registering form and on there was just some basic personal information things. So I wrote it down here, but essentially it's just your name, your birth year, school, phone number, your audition passing experience, which I actually read wrong and I read it as just pure audition experience but I didn't really change it, I suppose. And my sister registered right after me and the staff asked her so many unnecessary questions almost. So there was a question about what city you live in and she wrote that in English, but she wrote down this Korean city in English. And then the staff started to ask her, do you not live here? Are you a foreigner? And then my sister was like answering all these questions. She's like, yeah, I'm from Canada, but I right now living in Korea for the summer. And then it was just like a long conversation, like really loud too. So everyone in the practice room could hear. And I was just like, why is she asking all this? So to clarify, there was one staff member, maybe 20 years old or so. And she was um, helping with registering and stuff. And then there was kind of like a floater staff. And he was maybe a guy in his 30s, which you actually don't see very often in a K-pop audition setting but he walked into the room and he said if you're doing dance then prepare the song on your phone and unlock, unlock the phone and also take off your phone case and that's when I started panicking because I was like what you had to prepare a song so I was like oh my god what do I do and my sister was also planning on doing freestyling like me because she didn't want to really prepare anything and so we were just like what the hell is going on my sister was like did you lie to me and I was like no I swear it literally says freestyling so I was like oh my god I've got to find a song and I eventually found a song and I was like you know what I'll just go with this I took my phone case 
case off. But essentially, I concluded that I would just ask the judge if freestyling is possible, and if they say no, I'll just stand to the song that I have prepared. It's not perfect, but it'll get the job done essentially. So the guy staff called numbers one to three, which was me, my sister, and then also the 2004 girl that I was talking to into this other practice room. And basically, I know I always do reviews on whether the staff is nice or not, but this staff was just like not mean, but like just respectful, I suppose, like a normal amount, which is rare to see. So she said, 안녕하세요, and we all said, 안녕하세요, back. And I took that moment to ask her a question, which I think is kind of out there for me because no one really talks unless you're really supposed to in an audition setting so i was like oh, i just wanted to clarify are we doing freestyling for dancing is that still possible and she was like yeah we'll just play a random song then okay and as a way of confirming and i was like yes because i was first she told me to come closer to the table and i did so oh and she also told us to put our stuff down on the table to the left of the room which we did but i still had my phone in my pocket and my sister also had her phone but she had it in her front pocket so like basically she situated her phone like that where where's my phone so if you imagine this is my front pocket she had it like this like this almost where you couldn't really really see it but you can still kind of see it through the video and she filmed a video for me of my freestyle although it's just the back i think it's still cool to see how an audition setting would really go for dance because you never really see that you never see that being recorded and so the judge opened her phone and started to play super shy for like two seconds and then abruptly stopped it so i was like am i supposed to freestyle to this why is she playing a song with like an already made choreography i was really confused but essentially the sound system was not working so she was taking a lot of time to basically fix it try Trying it out and it just would not work. The speakers would not work. And then she asked for help and went up to the guy's staff that was outside of the room and then they tried to fix it, it wouldn't work. And after like five minutes, they still could not fix it. So essentially she was just like, I'm just gonna play this really loud without the speakers and you'll just dance to it. And I was like, yep. And then she started to play Unholy by Sam Smith, which is a song that I think everyone knows. It's a very popular song. I feel like um, companies either do these two things. They choose a popular Western pop song or kind of like an underrated old K-pop song choice. Those are the only two that you see, but all of them are very energetic, upbeat. They'll never give you like a ballad song to dance to. They won't be like unreasonable like that. And my, I guess, curiosity was why did they not prepare the sound system in advance? They knew that there were going to be dance applicants regardless of whether it be freestyle or not. So I'm not really sure why that wasn't working. My guess is that they were having food deliveries very last minute and they were busy eating and not really preparing for the audition. Am I calling them out? Maybe, maybe not. I'll be showing the dance video at the end, but um, it was actually quite long for me. I'll leave the seconds here how long that was but i just was not expecting that and i could not really think of new moves so i was repeating a lot of moves and although i seemed confident i think because of me repeating moves i just didn't look that great i suppose and then Alyssa just decided to go with her dance that she prepared Zimbalbim, like she prepared last minute that's like literally the only choreography she knows and then afterwards the last person that went was the 2005 girl four girl and she did her acting category and let me just say she was really really good um in the middle of her acting the guy staff actually went in to fix the sound system once more and super shy like blasted in the room and it was just so awkward i was like oh my god what is she gonna do but the girl just continued on like nothing happened and it was just so smooth so graceful and she definitely seemed like a pro actor actress like i'm not even exaggerating in any way my sister and i kept on saying that she could literally be an actress in the future and turns out her scene was actually not from like a movie or a show but was kind of just for a skit and so i thought that was really interesting i've actually never seen someone act right in front of me in an audition setting so that was really interesting to see and afterwards we kind of talked we exchanged instagram ids and we were talking about stuff she was asking us was my acting good? Was it a little weird? Was my diction off? We were saying that she can enunciate well, it just, she got the message across, it was just really good. So now I'm going to show my dancing. It's a little exp uh, embarrassing than showing my singing simply because for singing there's like only so much. Also I'm not showing my face, although in this I'm not showing my face either. Um, also it's like, you know, a weird song. Hopefully you guys will not judge me and now you can see it. And it'll kind of cut in music because I don't want to be copyrighted of course.
oh my god please don't say anything um so that is it for this audition uh audition experience video now i have a lot of more audition experience videos coming up not a lot but i have a couple more from my korea trip and i also have more that i've posted in the past i'll leave the uh, link in my description to the playlist of audition experience videos and that is it for this video thank you so much for watching